Time now to put our panelists on the clock, where they have one minute as a group, about 15 seconds each, give or take, to explore a few more notable headlines from the week. First up, State Auditor Hector Baldera says the Bernalillo County Treasurer Manny Ortiz did in fact break state law, violated county investment policies, and the county's ethics code. That's a lot. Baldera has forwarded the findings to the Attorney General and the State Securities Division, and he has ordered a special audit to look into the issues more closely. Marisa, the county treasurer's office is disputing the findings, as, as they probably should. You know, it's their right. But your take on the reports so far, that's, those are three pretty tough charges right out of the gate. You know, I interviewed the candidates for county treasurer, and uh, Ortiz was the only guy who really had any sense of what was going on. The, the other oh. candidates were way out of their depth when, we, when I talked to them. So my question is, can we produce viable candidates right. uh, and have good regulations on what's required to be a candidate for that office? Maybe a PRC-like vetting process. Right. Tom, what do you think of that? That's an interesting point. Well, it's yeah. an interesting it's an interesting process having just signed my first half tax payment to Bernalillo County right. today <laughs> I can tell you that I didn't send it in with a whole lot of confidence sure. perception is reality and right now Thank the you, uh, you know mm -hmm. the assessor or not the assessor but the treasurer's office is not getting their story out Wow interesting what do you think Rob this sounds sounds like New Mexico politics at its worst yeah. I mean, you're talking about people uh, giving themselves raises uh, you're talking about uh, insider deals favoritism uh, it's it's a familiar refrain, unfortunately, mm -hmm. for New Mexico. You you spoke, I believe, a few weeks ago. This the county is in a very vulnerable position here. This could end up costing the county a ton of dough here. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. And and it could affect the bond rating. It could right. affect all kinds of issues with the county. And I'm, I'm inter th that's a very interesting point about that he was the only one that could articulate it. He also was the only one who had already worked at the treasurer's office as the advisor, the investment advisor. Right. So he had the inside knowledge, sure. um, which was, is also another red flag. Right. You know, is that we're just kind of not getting any new blood into that position. I like yeah. the PRC reform issue, but yeah, last time I checked, if you're being accused of breaking the law, that's really a time to consider stepping down from that position. There you go. We've got a lot more of this on the clock and on the web. It's going to be there. Thanks again for all of you for your time. Now sit tight. We've got some good stuff going. As always, all of us here at New Mexico in Focus appreciate your time and your effort to stay informed and engaged. Catch up with us anytime on social media by searching New Mexico in Focus. And you can find archived interviews and bonus material from our shows on our YouTube channel and at NewMexicoInFocus.org. I'm Gene Grant. We'll see you next week in Focus.